It is Veganuary, that special time each year when companies try to sell you highly processed junk food, but don't worry, it's cruelty free, unless you feed it to your kids. <coughs> it is also when my social media feeds explode. Plant-based campaigners saying don't worry about protein, bison and gorillas eat grass and do just fine, it's science. And then meat eaters retaliating with a picture of some bacon, and then a comment, hmm, bacon. It's cutting edge debate. Now, towards the end of last year, I looked ahead to January and decided that I'd not make a video on this subject, despite having been vegan for a few years and knowing that Veganuary would see a spike in views on those old videos, and therefore a bunch of people asking me to do another. I just didn't think I had much to contribute. I don't care what anybody else eats, and altering what I ate made very little difference to me. What else is there to say? And then something changed. I decided I would no longer be called vegan. But before Mr. Mm, bacon gets excited, I would not be changing anything else, still not eating meat. I just didn't want to be called vegan anymore. And I know what you're thinking, yet another 50-year-old white heterosexual male telling us what he identifies as, well move with the times, people. So in this video, for those who told me three years ago if I stuck to plants I'd be dead by now, there'll be confirmation that I'm not. And for those wishing me to support the idea that eating 50 pounds of Rwandan jungle a day will get you jacked, there'll be no such thing. Oh, and for those wanting to know if not vegan then what, I'll tell you why I'm now just called Fussy. So anybody wanting to know why three years ago I went vegan after 47 years of devouring a really wide range of animals, do what lots of people are doing right now and watch this video from a couple of years ago. It's worth seeing, if only because despite not having a particularly vegan audience on this channel, it has a 98% thumbs up rating. That's like a guest speaker at a physiotherapy seminar, being a CrossFit coach and still getting a round of applause. In summary, the video went like this. My wife became vegan because she thinks cows are cute. I said, I'll join you for a month because it will be good content for here. And after a month, realized I noticed almost no difference to anything. I then read a little bit on factory farming, thought, there's bits to that that sound rather iffy, and so stayed vegan. It really is no more exciting than that. So because it's boring and because I don't care what anyone else eats, it doesn't get discussed here much. Also, I know that if I do, I have middle-aged men who live in their parents' basement Hey Ma! Can we get some meatloaf? sending me pictures of their sausage and saying, you need some of this. And I get enough of that every time I make a video featuring my wife. So if you're looking for something of an update on that last video regarding my health, my physical performance, my fitness, really just go watch any of my recent videos. I'm reasonably healthy, perform okay, and have a decent degree of fitness, which I had when I ate meat, and I have, now I don't. As I said, it's a bit boring. Although this might be a good time to clarify something I mentioned in that last video, that nobody goes vegan for their health. When I made that statement, I had a number of people contact me with staggering amounts of scientific data as to why eating plants was better for you. To be honest, I got so much of it, I was opening emails hoping it would just be a picture of a sausage. So to be clear, Veganism is a philosophy that rejects the idea of animals as commodities where possible. Anyone saying yes and I do that for my health is going to need to explain why not buying a leather jacket, which a vegan would not buy, is a healthier option. What those people typically mean is that they are eating like a vegan or plant-based. You could do that, and if you believe those studies that I can't be bothered to read, you might even conclude it was good for your health. But you could also do that and kick cats at the weekend. You wouldn't therefore be vegan. That's how I roll. Obviously, if it's in self-defense, you may have grounds. It depends, size of the cat and so on. So just because you don't eat meat or dairy doesn't make you a vegan any more than trying a Mediterranean diet doesn't make you Greek. Why is that distinction important? Only because I often get asked daft questions like, why don't you try the carnivore diet for a while? Or have you thought about experimenting one week vegan, one week not? No, that would be like me finding someone who doesn't eat dogs, doesn't believe in eating dogs, and saying to them, here's a study on how good Labrador is. They just aren't going to eat it, no matter what I say. And adding, hmm, poodle, probably won't tip them over the edge. So I was vegan, 
which does involve eating a plant-based diet, of course. And that diet of mine is probably eaten by more people who are just plant-based than actually vegan. So why am I now going by fussy rather than using the word vegan, which would still seem to describe me accurately? Because, like it or not, the word vegan brings with it more than I care for. Already, there'll be people watching this video on the plant-based side, angry that I'm not presenting arguments as to why people should eat like me. I know that's the case because they email me and tell me. Equally, the correspondence I receive from the other side often goes beyond pictures of sausages. People have genuinely told me I am due to fall seriously ill at any moment as a result of what I eat, and I'll have nothing left beyond distant memories of duck pond podiums. <laughs> And of course, it's not just me. I was also told that Jenna would get frail and weak. And then when she got fit and strong, I was told actually what they meant was she would get, and I was literally told this, fat and all her hair would fall out. The temptation is to evidence that is not yet the case, but now I have the sausage photos to deal with. And in addition to all that, and this is really my own fault, I feel subconsciously drawn to the debate when it confronts me on social media. As a meat eater turned vegan, I often find myself threading a path between the two sides and just frustrated at what I find there. The sensible option would of course be for me to close my phone and go for a run. But the compulsion is to point out that as somebody who's eaten a lot of little sheep, no one is going vegan because you called them a murderer. And that the idea of an increased interest in eating less meat or result in herds of cows wandering the streets, getting into mischief, is perhaps evidence of not having really thought it through. I believe what we're looking at here is one cow right now. Looks like uh, just standing there right now. And then I had a meal out over Christmas with a few friends. First off, they debated for an annoyingly long time as to where we should or shouldn't eat. That conversation began with them suggesting that my dietary requirements would complicate matters. I assured them I was quite capable of eating a bowl of chips anywhere, so please just pick somewhere. When we finally sat down in a restaurant, I ordered a starter, a main, and two porn star martinis on special offer. It took me about 20 seconds. I then waited and waited while they all argued over which sharing platter they would like best and then boring the waitress stupid with a request for alterations to the meals written on the menu. When they finally had their orders placed, they turned to me, I was already halfway through one of my martinis, and said, so, still vegan, that must be inconvenient. And I gave up. I gave up identifying as a vegan. I simply replied, no, actually I'm not. I am now just fussy. They told me I could use whatever word I liked, dress it up how I wanted, but ultimately the way I ate would cause me ill health and declining fitness. Enjoy your two tight t-shirts while you can, they said. They then chatted amongst themselves about their type two diabetes, heart attack scares, and the annoying lack of seatbelt extenders on EasyJet flights. That night I drank a lot of martinis. And so that is now where I reside, fussy. As a grown up, I just pick the things I'm happy to eat and then buckle up, don't eat the things that I want to, giving no thought to what anybody else is doing. And in case anybody wants to suggest, no, you are a vegan, you just are, no, I'm not. I've decided that one day I will live in the countryside and there I will consider purchasing some chickens to live happy lives in my garden and I'll eat their eggs. Also, should I find myself invited on the Joe Rogan podcast and offered some elk steak, I'd find it hard to say no. I'm not entirely sure what it would do to my digestive system after this long, but I'll take that gamble. So happy Veganuary everybody, I hope you are having a good time. Whether you're spending yours occupying a McDonald's covered in red paint and hurling abuse at diners, or deliberately spiking your cholesterol in order that you've got enough pictures of your favorite pies to antagonize people with on Facebook. Enjoy yourselves. Me, I'm just fussy, and alive, and married to somebody with hair. And seriously, stop with the sausage pictures.